Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see some important multiple choice questions from hormones and related drugs that is from pharmacology session Hormo hormones and related drugs. In this video we will see the questions from anterior pituitary hormones, thyroid hormones and also insulin and oral hypoglycemic drugs without taking much of your time we can start our session the question number one octreotide is a long acting synthetic analog of octreotide is a long acting synthetic analog of options are prolactin growth hormone somatostatin gonadotropin releasing hormone the correct answer is somatostatin next question question number two somatostatin inhibit the release of somatostatin inhibit the release of options are growth hormone insulin thyrotropin all of the above somatostatin inhibit the release of correct answer is option D all of the above question number three for the therapeutic use growth hormone is obtained from for therapeutic use growth hormone is obtained from options are recombinant DNA technique human cadaver pituitaries porcine pituitary chemical synthesis the correct answer is recombinant DNA technique next one question number four Bromocryptin causes the following prolactin release, vomiting, uterine contraction. The last option importance. Bromocryptin causes vomiting. Next question, question number five. The most prominent action of bromocryptin is the most prominent action of bromocryptin is dopamine D2 agonism, dopamine D2 antagonism, dopamine D1 antagonism, alpha adrenergic antagonism. The correct answer is dopamine D2 agonism. Question number six Gynecomastia can be treated with chlorpromazine. Simitidine, bromocryptin, metoclopramide. The correct answer is bromocryptin. Next question, question number 7. Triiodothyronine differs from thyroxine in that triiodothyronine differs from thyroxine in that it is more avidly bound to plasma protein it has shorter plasma half-life, it is less potent, it has longer latency of action. The correct answer is, it has a shorter plasma half-life. Question number 8. Carbimazole act by inhibiting. Carbimazole act by inhibiting. Iodide trapping, oxidation of iodide proteolysis of uh, thyroglobulin synthesis of thyroglobulin protein carbimazole is an antithyroid drug carbimazole methimazole all are antithyroid drug so the mechanism of action is through by inhibiting option b oxidation of iodide carbimazole inhibit oxidation of iodide next question question number nine The following thyroid inhibitors interferes with peripheral conversion of thyroxine to triiodothyronine. The following thyroid inhibitor interferes with peripheral conversion of thyroxine to triiodothyronine. Options are propyl thiouracil, methimazole, carbimazole, radioactive iodine. The correct answer is propyl thiouracil. This is the mechanism of action of propyl thiouracil. It will 
inhibit interfere with peripheral conversion of thyroxine to trihydrothyronine next question question number 10 carbamazole differs from propyl thiouracil in that it does not it does it is dose to dose less potent option b it has a shorter plasma half life option c it does not produce an active metabolite option d it does not inhibit peripheral conversion of thyroxine to triiodothyronine so the question was parbemazole mechanism against propyl thiouracil mechanism propyl thiouracil we already studied from in the previous question it will inhibit the peripheral conversion of a thyroxine to triiodothyronine and uh, regarding this carbamazole also we studied that one will inhibit oxidation of iodide so in this the correct answer is option d it does not inhibit carbamazole does not inhibit peripheral conversion of thyroxine to triiodothyronine next question question number 11 the thyroid inhibitor which produces the fastest response thyroid inhibitor which produces the fastest response is ligolsidin radioactive iodine propyl thiouracil lithium carbonate correct answer is ligols iodine question number 12 ligols iodine Ligol's iodine is used in hyperthyroidism. As long as as long term definitive monotherapy preoperatively for 10 to 15 days postoperatively for 10 to 15 days as a adjunct to carbamazole for long term therapy. Ligol's iodine is used in hyperthyroidism as a preoperatively for 10 to 15 days next question question number 13 the physical half life of radioactive iodine 131 iodine 131 is 8 hours 8 days 16 days 60 days the correct answer is 8 days so the physical half life of radioactive iodine that is iodine 131 is 8 days next question propranolol is used in hyperthyroidism propranolol is used in the hyperthyroidism as a short term symptomatic therapy till effect of carbamazole develops as a long term therapy after subtotal thyroidectomy option c in patient not responding to carbamazole to potentiate the effect of radioactive iodine so why propranolol is used in hyperthyroidism that was the question the correct answer is option a as a short term symptomatic therapy till the effect of carbamazole develops question number 15 radioactive iodine is the treatment of choice for the following category of thyrotoxic patient radioactive iodine that is iodine 131 is the treatment of choice for the following category of thyrotoxic patient children young adults with recent onset of graves disease elderly patient with ischemic heart disease pregnant woman The correct answer is option C elderly patients with ischemic heart disease. So 15 questions are over. These questions I covered from anterior pituitary hormones as well as from thyroid hormones and thyroid inhibitors. In the coming video we will see insulin and oral hypoglycemic drug. So if you like this video please make a thumbs up and also share with your friends. and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you